today I decided I'm going to show how you get your distance to the GP using triangles and trigonometry. I get this a lot from Globe Defenders telling me it's impossible to get your distance based on GP to a triangle. We all know that your horizontal baseline is what determines everything because you take a co-altitude angle of, of an elevation angle. So anyway, let's get started. This is a circle. It is a two-dimensional boundary. This is a horizontal line. It has no place higher or lower than the other. In other words, it doesn't curve. This is a vertical line. This line only goes up and down. This would represent your zenith or your altitude. Now we have the circle with the horizontal plane through the middle. This means the top of the circle would be your celestial bubble. Now you have the vertical. This would be your zenith where you would be standing. This makes a 90 degree angle. So in other words, you have the altitude vertical angle, which is 90 degrees and the elevation angle, which is zero degrees. See, when they intersect from each other, co-altitude angle, 45 degrees to the other 45 degrees. So 90 degrees, which is going to see now, if we're going to look at the sky, which is the celestial sphere, which is your celestial observation bubble. Each degree represents an angle measurement from the elevation angle. So this would be 89 degrees, 88 degrees, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, and you know so on, 75, 70, just counting it down till you get down to the horizon where you'd be at zero. So that horizon line would be your elevation angle. If you had to look, turn around, then you would have the same type of angle measurements just towards the back. So you see it makes a full 180 degree bubble and you are standing in the middle on that 90. So four quadrants to a circle is 90, 90, 90, 90, and that gives you your 360 degree circle. So what do we observe? First of all, you have an elevation angle, which is your zero, and you have your vertical, which is your 90. That celestial bubble is where you can observe. In other words, that's going to be your circle of equal altitude, your field of view. We have Mike standing here looking at star one. Mike, what is the position? What is the angular measurement of that star? star measured from Mike would be 60 degrees. Please do note I am not going to do any corrections for this. This is just simply to explain how you're going to get your GP distance. What would the co-altitude angle then be? Hmm. First we have to know is Mike is standing on a 90 degree angle. His, ver his uh, elevation angle is zero. So how would you get your co-altitude angle Mike? Simple. He measured a 60 degree angle. You know he's standing at 90 degrees, so we take his 90, we minus the 60 that he measured, and you get your co-altitude angle, which would be 30 degrees. So now we know the co-altitude angle measured would be 30 degrees. I repeat, I'm not doing any corrections for this. This is simply just to show how to get the GP. Now, that's the co-altitude angle we all know. Let's get the distance. Okay, how do we get the distance to the GP? One degree is 60 minutes of arc. This is very simple. Every degree, remember I showed you, would represent 60 minutes of arc. So every 60 minutes of arc represents 60 nautical miles. This would be the distance on the elevation angled surface, which is a horizontal plane. So we take the 30 degrees and we times it by the 60 minutes of arc, which would give us 1,800 nautical miles. That would be from Mike's distance, from the distance from Mike to the GP of star one. This means the triangle is complete. Okay, let's add another star to the observation. 
star 2. What would the co-altitude angle then be? Let's take it again. He measured 28 degrees to the star. He is at 90 degrees. You minus your 28 degrees and you get 62 degrees. Great. Now we know the co-altitude angle. How are we going to get the distance? 62 degrees, which is the co-altitude angle, times 60 minutes of arc, which gives us 3,720 nautical miles. That would be his distance to star 2. Let's add another one. Same thing, only difference is he's turned around so he can get a better fix on his circle of altitude position, LOP, and he measured a 40 degree um, angle. He came up to a co-altitude of 50 degrees, which times 60 gave him 3,000 nautical miles. Well, I hope this was very helpful, and if it was really helpful for you, please don't forget to give that like button, and if you haven't already, to keep up to date with more of this valuable information to you, please do subscribe. Till next time, God bless.